Hi, it's Matt. Now, this is a very quick ad hoc video uh, to give you uh, like a heads up on a project which I'm working on at this very moment in time. It is in front of us, we've got one, two, and three chargers running. Well, that one's actually just been finished. Now, what I'm doing is checking for, for myself the capacity of these 18650 batteries because on the interwebs, the, the people who are testing them are saying that they're all rubbish. Now, I don't believe that. I do believe the manufacturers are maybe a little bit optimistic with their ratings. So what I've done, I've got three cells all exactly the same. They're brand new. They all arrived with me at exactly the same time. So I'll run you through each of the cells. So we've got cell A. And by the way, these are, are uh, LG uh, DBM J11865s, and these are rated to be 3,500 milliamp hours. Now, I can he already hear you shouting, that's BS. Now, we'll get to that in a moment. So cell A, that has been charged by this charger over here. Uh, it's been running for about five and a bit hours, uh, and I've been charging it at 0 0.5 of an amp okay so half C these are supposed to be charged on one C so that's battery A battery B is using a uh, night core uh, battery charger which is a dedicated battery charger for 18650 batteries and as you can tell by the other batteries which I've got kicking around here uh, I use them for other purposes in the in the vape that one there has been running for five hours and seven minutes, and it's currently up to 4.18 volts. Uh, and it's charging at 329 milliampere hours now. Battery C, is, again, is exactly the same battery. It arrived with me at exactly the same time from the same, uh, ironically, shock horror eBay seller. Uh, and this one's been charged at one amp. So that's battery C. Now, if we look on here, it, you may be shocked to see charge time 0 0.1, well, 17 minutes and an extra 50 milliamp hours have gone into it for it to get full. Now, this is where it gets very, very exciting. That battery on its previous charge took 2,496 milliamp hours to charge it. Okay, so that's how much current's gone into or is gone into that battery. So I am really, really looking forward to see how these batteries actually work out. Now, these batteries weren't cheap. They're about 30, I'll say about 38 quid from six, uh, for six of them from eBay. My hopes are actually really high for all three of them. I've got a suspicion that we're not going to see much difference between the uh, current load when, so when we go to discharge these uh, between the one which was only charged at half a amp and again that one was charged in a separate uh, charger at half a amp as well it's just an automatic charger uh, compared to the battery which was charged at one amp so that is a project which I'm working on at the moment uh, the next step of this is well I've got to wait they've already been charging for five hours I've got to wait for them all to get charged at the same time. And then what I'm going to go and do is discharge them uh, on these three chargers. Now, I've got two IMAX B6 chargers here. One of those two is a clone for sure. I don't know which one it is, but one of them is definitely a clone. Because uh, they, they, they may look very, very similar, but when you look at them closely, they are very, very different. So what I'm going to do is that I will ensure that battery A is not discharged by this one. And, I will, uh, and then battery C, I'll make sure is not discharged by this uh, unit just to make sure they're mixed up. Uh, and then I'll discharge them all at the same time. Now, I do need to be in my office to do this. So for uh, it won't be this evening because I've got a really strong suspicion judging by the amount of current that that one there took. They might take a while. I'm going to be discharging them all at one amp, uh, and we'll see what the results are. So, yeah, a little project which I'm working on right now. I thought you'd find that, and I thought you'd like to see that because I'm super excited because I don't know what the result is, 
but I can already tell you it's looking promising. It really is. And we're only in the charge stage right now. So for myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for watching this uh, very ad hoc video. I'm just stood here with my uh, camera on my phone uh, recording this. So the quality is not great. Uh, apologies for that. But I thought you would really, really like uh, to see a sneak preview of a little mini project which I'm working on. Uh, as soon as I know more, I don't know which one is going to work out best. Do you reckon it's going to be battery A, which was charged at half an amp? Do you reckon it's battery B, which was also charged at half an amp, but in a dedicated uh, 18650 battery charger? Or do you think it's going to be battery C, which was charged at one amp on a over what is it, an overlander charger? You can let me know. Place your bets now, ladies and gentlemen. And you can do that by leaving me a comment in the video description. So from myself, Matt, cheerios.